highlight them mm -hmm. and then I'll put it in the group. So while it looked like nothing was happening in their royalties, yeah. when I highlighted their volumes and they <laughs> saw how close they were out of a hundred supervisors, I said, this is the stuff that's gonna eventually lead to royalties and y'all are gonna all hit together. And I've been telling them, it's like when you're in kindergarten and they tell you you'll graduate one day, you don't know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's the flower. But they still tell you and it keeps you going in a direction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I keep telling them, you guys are gonna grow royalties together. You yeah. guys are gonna go to Active World Team together. together. So now the first group, they're like, this is what he told us. Oh my <laughs> God, it's happening. And now the next group is coming. And like, but then <laughs> this year, is going to be the nastiest, most explosive growth. <laughs> They're like, what the hell did you do? I said, remember the thing that I taught on stage that some of you guys didn't want to do? That. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I just stuck to it. Wow. But the, but, the, then... but the biggest thing for people, that they try to copy exactly everything that, that they did. And when you copy exactly what somebody does, you lose you in the process. Yeah. You've got to have an element where it's your own. Mm. Yeah. So take, take the philosophy, yeah. but your style. you bring you your to style. the table. Because if yeah. it doesn't have you, then it, it feels it's, empty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would, mm. you, why would you raise somebody else's kids when you have kids at home? <laughs> so you've got to have an element of you your soul. Yeah. in that. Yeah. That's a really good point. Yeah. Yeah, because like I heard Johan's training, then I heard your training. I was like, oh, okay, thank you. Yeah, perfect fit. But that that account, the cross coach, cross coaching and accountability, honestly, that's the magic. Half the stuff, I don't tell them to do. They're just to get. They were like, but yeah. but how do you get them to? It's a magic something that just happens. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If if we're if, if we know each other, or we go to war together, we cry together, we win together, we make money together, naturally there's a natural bonding that yeah. happens. Yeah. It's like the Rat Pack. They all yeah. did what they did, you know? And just by creating that and always keeping them stimulated, they... Yeah, how long do you take to make your posts? Like, your posts are so, um, like, eloquently put together it just like flows from you you think it's just like your, your, I, I talk your text. ability to well, oh you just talk text yeah well the thing about it is I don't have to try to say something that I live every single day that's like how long does it take to say your name yeah. You live your name, bam, it'll come out just like that. Yeah. How long does it, does it take to describe y'all's relationship? Bam, you live it every day. Yeah. I, that doesn't take no time. What would take long is trying to think up what to say that you're not living. Right. Like to That's difficult. Up. Yeah. But my life, it's easy to talk about what I do every day. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. I That's think, the like, easy part. I think sometimes I worry too much about what people are going to think. Nah, see, yeah. Yeah. here's the thing. That's, that'll, that'll keep you in the exact, exact same spot. Yeah. Mm. You got to, whatever childhood programming that yeah, that is, yeah. of somebody, <laughs> somebody when you were five that said something to you, don't let that get in the way of what can create a mm. lifetime of freedom. Because yeah. that... Yeah, you gotta you gotta let that go because there's people just waiting for your example. Like, yeah. And the second you let that go, all of a sudden, all these people, are like, oh my God, I had a breakthrough, and that's because you had a breakthrough. Yeah. That what you said, like when you're vulnerable with people, mm -hmm. to me, like I was talking to a guy on Instagram yesterday. I never even met him. He was like, he put a, a post on Instagram about wanting to kill himself, and I PM'd him. <coughs> And I was like, you know what? And then I just like, yeah, <coughs> yeah. I get those every day for the last five and years. And he just filled in a health evaluation. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows, right? But that's what we're up against. Yeah. People will see all this stuff on the outside, but you guys don't see the messages I get from people. When I do trainings like this, you have no idea the kind of messages that I get mm -hmm. that people don't show yeah. out. But because I was willing to share myself, they're like, I've never told anybody this. And one time there was this girl that was literally on her way to driving off a cliff. 
Her sponsor talked her into watching one of my videos and said, get to this training. She came to the training at the very end of the training. I did my personal, my focus section. Afterwards, she was like, I was literally on the way to driving my car up a cliff, and now I know that there's a purpose for living. I get that all the time. All the time. You guys, my inbox, this is why I can't do no light training. Yeah. You have no idea what people are going through here. The light, yeah. And I, I refuse to, to lead people to the same. Mm -hmm. I'd rather leave people to discover their own power and their own truth. Mm -hmm. You know, there are some people that don't want that, that on the stage. I'm like, see, it's you. It's your fault that people are the way that they are. You don't allow them to experience who they really could be. Mm. Because you want to have all the control. Mm. <clears throat> it's so much easier. It's like harder, but it's harder at first, but then it's yeah. so much easier. Mm. It makes everything so much easier. When you can just go. <sighs> <laughs> I don't need to impress nobody. Yeah. yeah. I don't need to prove myself to nobody. Mm. I can just. <laughs> and when you can just look in the mirror when nobody's around and the truth shows up and you're just like I love me wow. God I love me for once let me show me some real love and though love can't be measured you know when you feel good in your heart yeah. Mm. So we used to get frustrated and angry. Yeah. Say it. We used to get frustrated and angry. It's very rare. Very rare. I allow myself to experience the human for, what? <laughs> for like 45 seconds. Yeah. Mm. Amazing. But because there, there's momentum in your mindset. Mm. And the momentum, it can either go back to your past yeah. or it can go into the possibility. And I, I just. I overload my mind with so much moving forward that whenever something happens, it's like race car track. You get knocked off, you get right back on. It's not like you get off and you get off get and you get off and then you get off. And, uh. So it's very rare that I stay in it because there's too much my environment to the colors in my house, the words on my wall. Everything has to do with moving me forward mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. when you talk about the tribes yeah um, at least I realized recently that my tribes are mostly a herbalist people uh, that how you define it how you can you explain it? so I don't see I don't have an herbal life life that's the thing yeah. the reason why herbal life gets the the rep of being a cult because it's almost like people make Herbalife like God. Mm. Herbalife is not God. Mm. I don't care how cool this company is. Mm. Herbalife is not first in my life. Mm. God, family, Herbalife. Mm. You know? Yep. And that's for me. I, I can't speak for anyone Amazing. else. That's for me. That's what allows me to be like sane. Because at first, I was like, Herbalife, everything. Herbalife, it was like, I'm like I am Herbalife. No, I am Garen Jones, who happens to be an Herbalife. <coughs> and so I have friends that are not in her life, and that's cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It's all choice. Yeah. You know, because when it was everything, 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 I forgot who I was. Mm -hmm. That's a problem. Because when I forgot who I was, that's when I didn't have the relationship with my family. Because mm -hmm. it was like I would energetically block anyone out who wasn't and down with the Herbalife. But that's no different than racism. That's no different than, hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's all the same. Hmm. Like you just block people out because, maybe because they're white or because they're <coughs> Jewish or because they're Christian, because they're Muslim. I'm like, yo, my message is for every, any heart that's beating, I don't care what religion you are, like none of that stuff matters. Like I just, people. <coughs> you know, and when I open myself up to people mm -hmm. and I don't put a boundary mm -hmm. on people, All right. it so. seems like my blessings don't have boundaries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Where do I meet them? I go to different places. I go to art shows. I go to, you know, the wealthy neighborhoods, and I go around there. And I just meet people. I go different places, places that I love to go to. Though I love art. I love fashion. I go to fashion shows all the time. I go to art shows all the time. I just surround myself around environments that make me happy. So, if you're in an environment. That makes me happy. Mm-hmm. It's a good chance we have something in common. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um, how do you manage your time when you always have to go for so many trainings and at the same time you have to you have your team and you still have to get new customers? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? Do you know what a generator is? Do you know what that is? Generator. What? Power generator. Power Yeah. I'm a generator. So when I when I generate energy, it affects every area of my life. I could literally have a conversation with a little boy and, and cause him to have a breakthrough in his life and only focus on him for four hours. I know my business will be taken care of. I'm not because what people will do is, oh, I focus on this, mm-hmm. and then how do I balance this? Yeah. How do I balance yeah. this? But what if you just did the best you could in every area of your life, and you would know in your mind, body, and spirit that everything will be taken care of because you're not separation. You're whole of the everything. Yes. So in knowing that I'm whole, when I take care of this, this is taken care of. When I take care of this, this is taken care of. When I take care of this, this is taken care of because I'm the whole. I am literally the whole and I function from that place. Not like I'm missing out. There's no area in my life. It's all mindset. 100%. There's no area in my life do I feel like I'm missing out on. Because I'm, I'm this entire room. And so when I'm speaking to you, I know I'm touching everybody in this room. Yes. yes. That's why. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you see, but I come from that place. So when you are so down, uh, the story we heard just now, how you get the to come to Herbalife? You know, like, uh, is it like immediately you hop on the opportunity? Hell no. No. I said no seven times. You met your sponsor and you'll learn in this next section. The section is going Okay, wait. Do you even sleep? I rest. You rest. I rest, but I understand sleep cycles. You know what sleep cycles are? We sleep in cycles. You don't just sleep. There's like cycles. Have you ever went to sleep and you woke up? You was like, "Oh, it's too early." And you go back to sleep, and it's four hours later. Yeah. That was a cycle. And so, if you tried to wake up. During those four hours, there would be so much dro- grogginess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then there's sometimes you'll sleep for just a little bit, and all of a sudden it seems like you've been asleep right. mm-hmm. for hours. Yeah. That's because that was the end of a sleep cycle. So I understand my body composition mm-hmm. plus the s- sleep cycle. So I'll get a certain power nap throughout the day. And it seems like, if you look at my Facebook, that I'm always awake and I never sleep. <laughs> That's because I understand 
power naps throughout the day, I and mean, then it all contributes to if I if I if I sleep at one time for three hours, but then throughout the day I got thirty minutes here, fifteen minutes here, an hour here, that would equate to six hours total. It's all the it's all the same. You just got to know how to space it out. If you look up on Google sleep cycles, and I just understand it's an art. I understand how to, and also, when I'm up to something big in the world, and I'm focused on something big that's connected with a lot of people, mm -hmm. I don't need much sleep. When I'm not doing much, and I'm not, gen my, I'm not generating myself, I'm not stimulated, it's hard for me to wake up. Mm -hmm. So when I'm plugged in, to something bigger, right. it's almost like the source feeds me extra resources. So, among in the group that you have, your team must be doing a lot of different things, right? But um, what if they do nutrition club, they do fit club, but they can? It's the same philosophy. Mm -hmm. Philosophy doesn't change. Just like use where talk. Yeah. Same philosophy. You know what I'm saying? I, so it's like there's people with nutrition clubs that do shake parties. They do this same philosophy though. Same way to treat people. Same way to acknowledge people. Same way to recognize people. Same way to highlight people. More about the attitude. More than about yeah. the effort. Mm -hmm. Because I can see um, there's so much focus on the DMO rather than... Attitude. It ain't the DMO. That's why you have people that they get the president's team when they, with Fit Camp, mm -hmm. and they do nothing with Fit Camp. They get the president's team with Shake Party, and they do, and then somebody else do nothing with Shake Party. Mm -hmm. Same one with uh, with uh, Nutrition Club, mm -hmm. then they do nothing with, they run the Nutrition Club to the ground. It ain't the DMO, it's the person. It's the person. 100%. Mm -hmm. I, could t I could give you my exact DMO. Everything, I, I wake up, the book this, my exact workout, my nutrition plan. But if you are the same person, you are going to get the same result, even with everything that I do. Mm. I can give you my exact, they're like, just give me your DMO. I gave somebody my exact DMO. All of a sudden, when the hype died down and it settled back in, same result, same excuse, same justification. Yes. Mm. Okay, 50%. 100%. That's why I do a lot of people stuff to crack this thing here. <laughs> so that when you go to your DMO, you're a different person yes. operating the DMO. Mm. No, I feel like deja vu because I met you five years ago. You say your DMO is a personal development. And today I understand exactly what you say. Five years. Seems like I've been Thank here you. before. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember. I remember. I got it in Singapore. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> then I keep asking my, my, my husband how he can do personal development as a DMO <laughs> now I understand it's the person oh my god but it's the person <laughs> some people do 30 minutes you gotta understand my brain and what I went through in my life is messed up here mm -hmm. for many people mm -hmm. you've gotta override 20 years of thinking one way Mm. So imagine you don't know English. What's your first language? Huh? Indonesian. Indonesian. Okay. So you speak Indonesian your whole entire life. And then somebody hands you a book on Russian. Speak it. <laughs> so when you do personal development for the first time, that's like another language. So imagine you live and think one way. That's language. Mm. Personal development is another language. Mm. Speak it. You can't. You've got to approach it just like you would approach another language. Mm. I know this because I speak fluent French. And what it took for me to unlearn English and speak French was crazy. But it was the same thing for me to unlearn everything I knew about my old patterns to take on it's personal development. Same process. And I heard the words unlock many times, and today I understand the words unlock too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My friend 
Use your rest. He said, you have to unlock. Why is it not unlocked? <laughs> During that, the darkness session, then I understand. So what are the, one of the ways to unlearn, like you are saying, you are unlearning 20 years? Yeah, say that again. How do, how do you unlearn, what are the ways to unlearn that? When you usually walk, go to the stairs, do you take the escalators or do you take the stairs? Escalator. Okay, do the opposite. <laughs> Think about it. Why do you take the escalators all the time? <coughs> do the opposite. Now your brain is going to go to a different place simply because you do the opposite. Do you use gel soap or bar soap? Gel soap. Okay. Use bar soap. You do that? Yeah. Do you eat with your right hand or your left hand? Right hand. Eat with your left hand. It's going to operate a different part of your brain. And you'll learn how to adapt. 30 minutes a day. Practice writing with your non-dominant hand. Watch what happens in your life when you stop doing the thing you always do to take on something else. It's going to seem very difficult at first, but then after a while, <coughs> something starts to happen to your cognitive skills. What side of the bed do you sleep on, right or left? A single bed. single <laughs> bed. <laughs> <single beer. laughs> Do you sleep on the left or the right? I am more on the right side. Obviously. Sleep on the left side. No, for me. When you eat, do you open your eyes? Yes. yes. Close your eyes when you eat. <laughs> but think about all, everything that I just said. Wow. Use your non-dominant hand and close your eyes when you eat. Do that for 30 days. I guarantee you nothing about your business or your life will be the same. Because you've unlearned how you've ingrained a s one way in your life, your entire life. Do that for 30 days. Watch what happens. There's a special treat for you on the end of 30 days. Wow. You become so hungry. <laughs> you eat, but here's the thing. It's not going to be easy to close your eyes, feel around, eat with your non-dominant hand, with your eyes closed, everything will change. Hundred percent, everything will change because you've never done it before. And when you take on characteristics that you've never done before, you get results you've never had. And all that is is building the muscle to learn how to do the opposite at any given moment. That's the whole concept of change your mindset, change your life. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I your head then. Huh? Your head then, what it means? I, I, I was given, it. my daughter gave me that like five years ago. Yeah, from Kung Fu Panda. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so I got one more question. Eh? Because you said that, quite for me, I'm actually working. So I'm doing actually her life part time. And one of the things that I... Part-time with a full-time attitude or a part-time With attitude? a full-time attitude. Okay. So one of the things that I could uh, uh, relate to was too many things in my mind. Because in the daytime, I may be working my job. Then after that, halfway, I need to uh, reply group chats. And then in the evening, on weekends, I'll do DMO. So this is something that I felt was a bit hard to adjust. Yeah, you know, I know some people who have a part-time job. And they did better part-time than they did full-time mm. because it wasn't about the time, it was about what you put in the time. I can do more in one hour than most people can do in a week because of all the procrastinating and scrolling and all this other stuff, you know. And I would take that time and make it 100% golden, even if it's one hour or two hours, but make it focus, wrapped focus and concentration on everything you know you get to do. And do you plan on staying at that job? <laughs> this is, uh, I'm not sure. Okay, would you do it for free? My job? Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> Why not? I see my current job, because it takes a lot of me, so. Okay, how much do you get paid an hour? 
I we I calculate per month, so it's about maybe five per month. How long have you been working there? Five years. See, you pay more than that. You don't get paid for time, you get paid for value. And you can either be giving value or the value can be taken away from you. So you don't just make five thousand a month. They pay you five thousand to take away five years of your life. And if making five thousand dollars to take away five years of your life where you can't be free, you no longer make five thousand dollars a month. This is five thousand dollars a month at the expense of taking away half your life. So now think about that job and how long you plan to stay there. Or create an exit strategy and a focus. Yeah, so this is my exit strategy. I was, after Spectacular, I found this as an exit strategy. Yes, yeah, so just think about in terms of your life. And another five years. And then another five years after that. And if you ever plan to have kids, think about time you're going to miss after that. All that stuff. If it's not a focus, you will pay the price. When that becomes a focus, you'll focus very differently when it comes to the little time that you have. There's two men. They both work at Burger, they both work at McDonald's. One of them is just going to McDonald's to work really hard at McDonald's. The other one has a vision of owning a chain of restaurants. So every time he goes to McDonald's, he's going to his vision of a chain of restaurants. The guy that created the vision now has a chain of restaurants. The other guy has recreated McDonald's in every area of his life because he never had a vision for himself. He's still there with his family. Think about the value that you have for yourself that you stay inside of McDonald's mentality your whole life. So the next time you go into your job, just know that it's taking life away from you. <laughs> Especially if you wouldn't do for, do it for free. See, when I was training and I was helping people and I was just training, I was doing it all for free. So it might be the reason why I got the opportunity to make money doing what I would do for free. Because I would do it for free. <laughs> yeah, even the exercise. Even the exercise. Final job that I want to do for free. Oh. <laughs> I will do for free. <laughs> Thank you. Because the first SDS I have done that, I see it's a refresh, but I don't feel it's a duty to come to the SDS. Yeah. Yeah. It could happen. What are the reasons that you're looking up to? The power of positive thinking. Norman Vincent Peale. Norman Vincent Peale. Yeah. No, you can ask me any question you like. But somebody else, yes. you have 10, 15 questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. what, what do you think of uh, the fit couple? <laughs> you know, I, I love the fact that they found something that works for their entire organization and their whole family is eating. I don't know what they're doing, that's like a lot of people but I also don't want to lose track 
mm. of my family eating. Yes. See, and what is this? What is this? But that's that. Yeah. Boop. Okay. Mm. Boop. Mm. Boop. Mm. Boop. Mm. Boop. Mm. Boop. I love that they're able to take care of their family. That's all I care about. But getting in, what are they doing? Why is all the numbers? It's crazy. How do you go from 70K to 150K in three months? You got to be doing something crazy. But remember what I said. When the guy had passed me up, he's got to be cheating. <laughs> <laughs> You're either on this side or you're on this side. I see that stuff and I just get inspired. Okay, cool. Boom. Keep working. Keep working. Keep working. So now you have two different options. This side or this side. You've seen the two. In Herbalife, you'll always have things that just don't make sense. No problem. Always feel, always follow what what feels good in your heart. If it doesn't feel good, I'd stay away from it. Yes? Do you have an idol in Herbalife? Like, is there any no, no, I don't idolize anyone um, other than the future version of myself. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't idolize any human being. Yeah. I'm inspired by people, mm -hmm. but as far as giving them the title of idol, not even close. You know. Um, yeah. But I'm really inspired by knowing that we all have a higher version of ourselves mm -hmm. that we have yet to reach. Like, what could a higher version of Garen that's impacted millions of people that's even stronger, quicker, faster, more connected to, to, to God and even more, like 10 times more. Like, I get inspired by that. I'm like, holy crap. Like, what is that? But it keeps me in the line. Kindergarten? Uh, uh, graduation keeps me in the I need to stay in the yeah. line. Yes. Do you go to church here? Huh? Do you go to church? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we church comes on. <laughs> you created it. But, but, but I also I I also recognize that church is also not a building either. A specific energy and a specific connection. Yes. And uh, I do recognize that I that I'm a, a walking scripture and a walking testimony because I can see the stages of my life and how I died to my old self and resurrected into my new self and gave, gave and gave and forgave and apologize and freed up and I see what happens. You know, there's a lot that you can't really say on stage because this is still like, but you ask me one on one I'll give you the truth from my own life. But just know that uh, I'm, I'm not alone and I can't do this by myself. There's no possible way. No possible way. Yeah. Can I see how much you get for a monthly bonus? Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> so, with my bonus and my monthly, they both came together. It was about 